For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. Alright, guys, let's do this problem that says if the tension developed in either cable layer B or AC cannot exceed 1000 pounds, find the maximum tension developed in cable AD when it is tightened by the turnbuckle. Also, what is the force developed in the uh, tower? So basically what you got to do is find out which one holds the strongest amount of force, either A, B or A, C. And to do so, we go through our usual steps. The first step being find the univectors. To find the univectors, you need to find all the points involved and where they sit. A sits at zero on the I plus zero on the J plus 30 in the K, B sits at 10 in the I, minus 15 in the J, plus 0 in the K, C sits at negative 15 in the I, minus 10 in the J, plus 0 in the K, and D sits at 0 in the I, plus 12.5 in the J, plus 0 in the K. So, to find univector AV, Remember, we have four univectors, this univector, this univector, a univector going towards C, and the univector for the tower that is going up. Because if they're all going down, the one for the tower obviously has to go up. So to find univector AB, basically you got to do B minus A, and it comes out to be 10 in the I, minus 15 in the J, minus 30 in the K. Then you need to find the magnitude of this vector. To find the magnitude you do the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. This is square. And when you do 10 square plus 15 square plus 30 square you get that the magnitude is equal to 35. And the univector AB is simply given by the vector AB divided by its own magnitude. And that gives you point 286i minus 0.429j minus 0.857 in the k. In the same manner, you need to find univectors AC and univectors AD. Just repeat, repeat the steps, except that change B for C and B for D. So you go through these three steps, and you're going to find that the other uh, two univectors that are for the cables come out to be minus 0.429 in the I, minus 0.286 in the J, minus 0.857 in the K, and D comes out to be 0 in the I, plus 0.385 in the J, minus 0.923 in the K. And we have one more univector, which is a univector for the tower that goes from E to A, because point E is right at the base of the tower. And E is at the um, origin, so it's just univector A, and it comes out to be plus 1 in the K. It goes straight up, so it's not much thinking to that one. So now that you have all the univectors, turn the page. What you need to do is, you know, my steps, you need to multiply them by tensions slash forces. So, how many uh, forces slash tensions you have? Same amount as you do univectors. You have three tensions for the cables. This tension, this tension, this tension, and the force going up on the tower. So that will be tension AB, tension AC, tension AD, and force E. A, the force on the tower and each one of those has to be multiplied by its respective univector AB times univector AB, AC times univector AC, AD times univector AD, EA times univector for the tower EA, the last one we found. And when you do you get the Cartesian vector form of each of these forces like so. The first one is 0.286 tension AB in the I 
minus 0.429 tension AB in the J minus 0.857 tension AB in the K second one minus 0.429 tension AC in the I minus 0.286 tension AC in the J minus 0.857 tension AC in the K for ADC and the I plus 0.385 AD in the J minus 0.923 tension AD in the K and this last one is here on the I plus here on the J plus the force E A in the K and you know that when you add all of these Cartesian vectors together and this is equilibrium you get 0 on the I plus 0 on the J plus 0 in the K so from this diagram that we built we can get our three equations that would help us solve this problem so from the I we know that 0.286 tension AB minus 0.429 tension AC is equal to 0 so from this one we can already tell something very important if we solved for tension AB tension AB is equal to 1.5 tension AC and just by looking at this equation we can tell that tension AB is obviously bigger than tension AC is bigger than tension AC if tension AB is bigger we got what we got to do is set tension AB equal to 1000 pounds tension AB is equal to 1000 pounds because they're asking us that the maximum for AB and AC not for AB and AC and AD they're only telling us that AB and AC cannot exceed 1000 pounds they didn't tell us anything about D so what you got to do is find which one holds the greater amount of tension and set that one equal to 1000 in order to solve this problem so tension AB is equal to 1000 pounds and that gives us also tension AC which is 1.5 uh, 1.5 tension AC is tension AB so that will be 1,000 uh, 1, pounds divided by 1.5 and it will be 666.67 pounds and we already found two of the three tensions right off the bat and then from right there you can just uh, look at the other equations let me make myself a little more space so in the J we got minus 0.429 tension AB minus 0.286 tension AC plus 0.385 tension AD is equal to 0 we already have AB and AC we can plug them in and solve for AD and you get that the tension in AD is equal to 1609.5 pounds and then you look at the K equation and you got minus 0.857 tension AB you see where this is going hopefully tension uh, minus 0.857 tension AC minus 0.923 tension AD uh, plus FEA is equal to zero you just you have already all these three you have AB, AC and AD already found them so you solve for FEA and you should get that FEA is equal to 2913.9 pounds so final answer final answer final answers the key is in the equation for the I all you did is solve one in respect to the other and just by looking at this equation right here you could tell which one was bigger set the biggest one by the maximum that it, the system can support and solve for the rest Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.